Stacking projectors for large movie screens, particularly when you get to 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 feet and larger, can be a very challenging process. However, stacked projectors are the most economical way to get maximum brightness for the dollar, without a question. Nevertheless, stacking can be very challenging before you start an event. You have to wait for it to get dark, and you're using the grid patterns, and if it's windy and your screens are moving, it, sometimes it just might not happen. If you're doing an indoor installation, it's not such a big deal. However, with VXP's new drive-in movie theater systems, we now have automatic stacking features available as an option with some of our systems. It allows you to align and stack the projectors automatically in less than a minute. So we're going to show you how to do that now. So what you can see we got right now is the two images. They're clearly off by about a foot. They're definitely majorly out of alignment on purpose. And uh, we'll show you how we do this. So you're going to have one projector that's going to be your master projector. And with that image, that's the image that you're going to make, the one image that you're just going to set up by itself and make it fit your screen perfectly. Now you take your second projector and you get it as close as you can. You can use the grid patterns in your projectors. You can, get just, you can just use the image, but you need to get them as close as possible. You need to make sure all the projector resolutions and everything are the same and you have the same lenses. Now you set up the computer system. The way this works, and this only works with certain computers, uh, uh, I mean certain projectors and certain software, but with our systems right now, you've got the LAN cat cable right there on both projectors, and those are connected to a router. And then you also run a cable to the laptop. We include the laptop with the software on it, so you're all set to go right out of the box. Then you have a camera. There's only a couple cameras that will work with the software. This one's great because it works great in low light. And you plug that into the USB in the laptop. Now you're all set up and ready to go. So the first thing that you're going to do is with the software, it's got a setup. And all the setup is for is calibrating the brightness of the camera. So if I look here, I'm just going to adjust the camera. You don't have to, it doesn't have to be centered. It doesn't have to be straight. All you want to do is, and you can expand and zoom in on that, but you want it to be able to see the difference between the image and what is not an image, basically. Now you can do this manually. There's some exposure and gain and focus adjustment sliders there. Or you just hit auto-tune, which I just did. And now it will automatically calibrate the camera for you. And then you'll be all set. And depending on, you know, the light, if you're doing this right at sunset versus if it's really dark out, you know, you'll want to auto-tune it again just to get the right settings. And um, it'll just go through the process and automatically uh, set the exposures for the camera. And then we'll be ready for the next step. Okay, so we're done now. And see, that's what the camera sees right there, even though it's a little bit washed out there. Okay, we're done. So now we just go to finish. And now we're ready to calibrate. All you do is push the button and sit back and wait. So right now it's saying calibration progress right now. And uh, it's going to go through a couple of prompts. Right now it's doing the bright image from projector one. And now it's doing the bright image from projector two. We're at 38%. Now it's doing center dots from projector one. And now we're doing full grid from projector one. We're already at 63%. There's the grid image middle for projector two, full grid for projector two. We're at 84%. Now it just takes a few moments and uh, gets everything calibrated internally right now. And in probably about 10 or 15 seconds, we should have a completely synced and perfectly aligned image. And um, you'll notice, too, that we've got a ton of light in here right now. And so if you're doing this outdoors on a screen, you know, as soon as you get right, you know, to where the, as soon as the camera can be seen, you can align your projectors and then you're off and running. So it's, it's, it's a pretty fantastic thing. 
So right now it says 91%. And also once it's set up, you can take the camera away, you can take the computer away, but if you just leave it set up, if somebody were to bump it, you just hit calibrate and it'll recalibrate. But there we are. We've got a perfectly aligned image. So now we've got 15,000 lumens good and set to go. So there you go. Aligning projectors has never been easier. This is an option because depending on the size of screen you got and what projectors you want to use, you may or may not need stacked projectors. We also sell uh, uh, stacked projectors with the laptop in 15,000 uh, pa uh, lumen packages and up. With this particular system, you can do up to four projectors and 30,000 lumens. Pretty exciting stuff. And that's it for um, projector stacking with our new drive-in movie theaters. And they're available now at thevisionexperience.com.